today we're going to talk about my experience with Generation Z. You see, I'm a keynoter and usually I go to a conference and I stand up and I start talking and I usually try to get to understand and know who's in the audience. And when I'm keynoting, there's usually two Gen Z's in the audience. And these are people that are in their early 20s, um, probably in their 20s if they're in my audience and maybe even some young millennials. And anyway, there's usually two or three. But recently I have been doing some workshops and I've been having much more contact with them, which brings me to where I was a Friday, last Friday. I did a workshop on branding, personal branding and growing your network for a corporation here in Houston. And I got to work with all of their summer interns. And I was really excited. I love teaching branding and I was so excited because I was really going to get some interaction with younger people and kind of figure out how they think. It's interesting because when they started trickling in the room, the first thing I noticed Nobody, nobody looked from left or to right. They looked straight ahead or they looked at their phone. There was absolutely no interaction at all. They waved at me, but there was no communication. And I knew this is going to be a tough crowd. Anyway, as we started unveiling, unpeeling the onion, so to speak, on your personal brand, I had them pick some words that would define their work style. And it was interesting because when we started looking at what words they chose, there were three distinct groups that and I put them into these groups. There were people that wanted to work, that they, they value, they valued the whole idea of work, but they also wanted to do other things. They wanted to either have a side hustle, um, doing their own business, or they were interested in involvement in the community. Work was just a, a means to an end, but they wanted their life to be full and rich. And they were the group that really wanted work-life balance. The second group, I call these the chill. These were like the chill out. They were kind of quiet. But there was definitely a group of them. And these were people who really wanted to work from home. They didn't want the interaction. They didn't need it. They enjoyed working by themselves and they enjoyed doing the work that they're called knowledge workers, but cranking out the work on the computer. They actually said that they were motivated by getting more and more work done. And then the last group, which in this group of interns was my largest group. These were the go-getters. These were the drivers. And many of them picked competition and driving as their, as their main force. These were people that no matter what I said, by the end, they were nodding. They wanted, they were taking notes. They wanted to join, um, groups. They were into networking groups. And I saw the energy in this group. And if I was a, maybe a manager, they might get all my attention. But what I wanted to say was the three groups that were there were equally interested in what they were doing. They just needed a different way to be managed. They needed a different way to interact. They needed a different way to build relationships. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because you're going to be getting more and more young people coming in to work with you. And those relationships that are going to happen may really be counting on you. You may have to be the impetus. You may have to be that person that takes the first step and not wait for them to come to you. But here's what I know. They want to learn. They want to learn how to grow relationships. They don't know how. They want to learn. They want mentors, but they're, you know, growing, getting a mentor isn't that easy. You have to build that relationship first. But I see this as a different group than maybe what I had in my mind even six months ago. So if I can change by just seeing them, I hope that you can be more open. Take that negativity that we're reading about all of the quiet quitting and all of the, the words that we're seeing in the TikTok uh, groups and put it aside and start to look at people as individuals and always think of that one question, how can I help and build those relationships? It's just me today talking, but I just wanted to share. I get excited sometimes when I'm with these groups and I wanted to share the energy and the excitement that I had working with the interns, the Gen Z interns here in Houston. Thanks everybody. It's Karen McCullough. See you next time. 